Hi, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing the process that I followed to create a comic inspired by Nobody No Crime, which is a Taylor Swift song from her last album, Evermore. I actually created a comic already of one of her songs. It was Betty. I have like a physical copy here. Um, what I did was like create a comic with my interpretation of the song. And here you can see a little of it. So if you haven't read my comic for Nobody No Crime, I suggest you go read it before watching this video because I did change a few things and it's maybe you're gonna get spoiled. I don't know if it's a spoiler, but I just think it's better if you go read it first and then come watch the video. So I had the idea for this comic for a while um, after making the Betty one, I listened to Evermore when it came out and when I reached Nobody No Crime, I was like, <laughs> oh wow. The song obviously tells a story and like, I just had like really clear images in my head for it. Like I had a vision when I listened to this song. So I got to work and what I did first was try to analyze the lyrics and I basically listened to the song like a hundred times. I kind of hated it in the end. Not really, but yeah, I was, I listened to it a lot of times until I was ready to start planning. So as you may know, the song basically talks about the story of Esty and her friend and Esty's husband is acting kind of suspicious and Esty believes that he's cheating and she confides on her friend um, and decides that she's going to call him up. And after this, Esti goes missing and her friend is really suspicious of her husband and she basically ends up killing him in revenge and framing his mistress. So that's basically what the song is about, but I wanted my comic to have like a little bit of a twist to it. I wanted to change a few things. There was just like something about Esti being dead in the end that just didn't sit right with me. So I thought about it for a while until one day I was driving and listening to the song and I had like this kind of epiphany of a way to make it work, to make Esty not be dead in the end. Esty and her friend plan a way to make it look like Esty's dead and then they, and has gone missing and then they kill the husband and frame the mistress. They are what you may call, maybe, a little deranged, yes, nobody's perfect. And after I had this ready, what I did was something I called a vibe check, where I thought about the atmosphere that I wanted the comic to have, the color scheme, um, the scenario that I was going to include, um, what characters I needed to design. Like I knew I was going to have to paint Esty's house, um, a lake, where I wanted to actually include a willow tree because of the song. I was my, my brain working at all times. And something that I like to do when I need to do something like this um, is go on Pinterest and create a board. So that's what I did. My main inspirations for the tone were Gone Girl, Amy Dune, of course, and also Thelma and Louise. Actually, Esty's friend um, is kind of um, based off of Susan Sarandon's character in Thelma and Louise. And what I did was like gathering like tone references that kind of captured the vibe that I wanted to the comic to have and also I have like actual references that surprisingly most of them are stock images I don't know they just do it for me like obviously you need to adapt them to what you want to do but there's so much variety <laughs> but again some of the references that I needed were too specific so I had to take them myself basically what I did was post with pictures and make the faces or poses that I needed I recommend this and I'm also very happy that most of these will never see the light of day. Trust me, you do not want to see the reference for this one. And what I do next is to plan the pages of the comic. And for that, I use very loose drawings, not very clean at all. It's just a way for me to see like how the story is going to play out, how the, the layout of the pages is going to be. And once I have that, I start working on the sketches for the pages, which obviously are much cleaner and take way longer. And once I had the pages sketched out, what I did was start to add color. And I'm not gonna lie, this took forever. This took so long. This took weeks. I'm not... I almost gave up like four times, but I pulled through and I finished it just a couple of days ago. 
Yeah, I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. Um, I definitely can still work on a lot of my skills, like painting backgrounds or painting cars. But I, I just overall, I, I'm really glad that I'm making this comics. Some of it's it's really out of my comfort zone, and it's a way to work on skills that I wouldn't normally work on. And that's a, an advice that I have that I have for someone who, if you may want to make comics, that's something like. If you are bad at painting something, you get better at it by painting that. Like, it's gonna look worse at the beginning, but you're eventually gonna get better. And you guys can see the final results in my, basically all my social media. Um, I'm gonna leave them on the screen. And thank you so much if you got to this point. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be. <laughs> Bye.